Deputies are hired to keep criminals behind bars, but tonight a DeSoto County deputy jailer is charged with helping to set one inmate free. Hello, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. That deputy, Ronnie Hunt, worked in the jail and has since been fired. WRG's Brian Didlake joins us now live with the very latest. Brian, what'd you find out? Well, Stephanie and Greg, the DeSoto County Sheriff's Office tells us Joshua Zimmerman's arrest will fill in the gaps on how he escaped from the DeSoto County Courthouse. But people we spoke with say uh, the arrest of the deputy doesn't come as a complete surprise. They believe it had to be an inside job. It had to be somebody inside because how would he get away the way they keep them shackled and stuff when they take them from courtroom to courtroom. And many Hernando residents believe this is the only scenario that makes sense. A jailer arrested for helping an attempted murder suspect escape. The DeSoto County Sheriff's Office says Ronnie Hunt had been guarding inmates, but he has now been fired. He should know better or he or she should know better not to mm -hmm. do that something like that here to uphold the law like they good should do. The extent of Hunt's alleged involvement in Joshua Zimmerman's escape is still unclear, but from what we know now, the initial speculation from the sheriff about the escape appears to be completely wrong. Here's what we were told 10 weeks ago. The notion that he had help, that's false. The notion that he had an extra set of clothes, that's false. This is a career criminal. He knew what he was doing. The sheriff's office is now directing all questions to the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation, which is leading the investigation into Zimmerman's disappearance. We know that he's by himself in there. It's, there's no innocent civilians. It's only Zimmerman inside the building. Before being captured during a standoff last week in Chicago, Zimmerman had been on the run since June. At the time, he was facing an attempted murder charge and was accused of attacking an elderly South Haven man. What's more, Zimmerman is also facing additional charges connected to the death of a woman in Houston. And now the DeSoto District Attorney's Office initially had a lot to say about the escape, but a judge has since told him not to make any further public comment. Meanwhile, former Deputy Ronnie Hunt remains in jail and we're told he could face additional charges. But for now, we are live in studio. Brian Ditlake for your news leader, WREG News Channel 3.